some happy monkeys at Coco this morning during monitoring. Grass is being cut ready for release for Atlas, Ricardo, Samba and Yoda. And Smith. Here's Elena Ann. Sadie. Taro there, hiding in the bushes whilst there's a fight going on outside. All the cocoa mums and babies are loving the corn with the garlic and the herbs and the probiotics in. All good stuff. Yoda on the left, Samba at the back. With mums Kara at the back and Carla at the front. Next week, these little ones will be released into the troop. Atlas with Panicure, foster mum. And there was Ricardo with Elena. And there's Ricardo. Is Atlas coming now? Ricardo in front, Atlas behind. Very curious about the camera. Good morning from Coco. This is Atlas and Ricardo eagerly awaiting their morning milks. Unfortunately, I do not have their morning milks. <laughs> but they are coming very soon. So, huge day to start off the new year is our first release of the season and today Ricardo, Atlas and Samber and Yoda in the left side are joining the Coco trip in the main enclosure so they are being released out with their foster mums for the first time so pretty exciting and my favorite time of the year is getting these babies out into the troops of course it's uh, a bit nerve-wracking as well <laughs> because they're only tiny little babies that we've put a lot of care into and uh, putting them out into the big bad world of the trip can be can be risky but um, it's also a really beautiful time of the year because we get to see these orphans uh, complete their rehabilitation and actually join a whole new family so this morning I'm just going to check all the feeding cages it's quite a large enclosure it goes out. It's quite long and narrow enclosure, so it goes all the way up around the corner there. Uh, so I'm just going to check the fence lines, check the electric fence, uh, check the feeding cages. Uh, we should be good to go. Uh, this is one of the feeding cages here in the enclosure. Um, so this morning I'm installing some new bottle holders I made. 
So obviously you can't buy this equipment anywhere. <laughs> so we have to be we have to be a bit creative. Um, so this is how the bottle holder works, um, and it allows us to easily um, put the bottles in from the outside. So we just install these here because uh, there's four babies this year. We only had Taro last year and he didn't even drink that much but this year we've got four so I need to make sure each feeding cage has four of these uh, so it doesn't take too long to put them in. So I got a couple more here and then a couple more at the next one uh, to make sure we got four bottles in each cage just in case all four babies come in and want to drink at the same time. The last thing we want is for a baby who hasn't drank to come in and not be able to get any milk. That's uh, uh, not a good situation. I can put them off using the feeding cage or and whatnot. So we want to make sure there's always milk and they always have access to milk. Especially for the first few days, very important. Just on the way to Coco for the first release of the season. So we've got four babies going out, which is Atlas and Ricardo, our first two babies of the season. And then we've got Samba and Yoda, who are much later in the season, but ready to go. And as you can see, there is a lot of people here for this. So we've got Mark, who is the integration team lead. Then we have Victoria, who is our integration staff. That's volunteer Daniela. Then we've got Simon, who is the middle section intern. And we've got David, also a volunteer. And then Benny will be on her way. Baby mum Sophie has come to witness her first babies of the season go out into the troop. Very exciting time. She also named Atlas, so this is very special for her. So we're very excited. We have some bets on already, as we do. We think Ricardo is going to run out first with mum Panicure. Um, and then we'll see how everything else goes. Sophie, who's going to go out first? Ricardo. Who's going to drink first? Ricardo. Renny, who's going to go out first? Well, it's not fair, but I would say the same. <laughs> okay. Mark, who's going to go out first? Who's going to drink first? Atlas out first. Ricardo, drink first. Vic, who's going to go out first? Seth. Ricardo out first and Atlas will drink first. Wow. Simon, who goes out first? Who drinks first? Atlas out first and Ricardo will drink first. David and Daniela, who goes out first? Who drinks first? No idea. <laughs> You're just happy to be here. No idea, yeah. <laughs> just say two names for one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> we'll see who wins. David, first release. Yeah. You excited? More. More excited? More excited. <laughs> I do. Daniela. I'm very excited. Yeah. Renny. Me too. For me, as an integration staff, it will be my first baby release. So yeah, I'm more than excited and I really hope that everything is going to go good. Yes, it will. Simon? I'm stoked to be here. I've never seen a baby release into a troop, so... I'll be Your there first well. baby release too? Yeah. Alright. Sophie? Hi. Excited? Very excited. Yeah, Atlas is the first baby of the season. So it'll be good to see him going out into troop. Um, and yeah, it'll be really, really good to get some babies in troop. Milk yeah. shift is going to get a bit busier. It is. But that's all good. It is. This is the start. Yeah, so uh, these babies have grown up quite a bit since they were in baby care. Yeah, so I mean, Atlas and Ricardo have been in with mum since um, probably early November time. Yeah, early November. Um, so yeah, they're definitely ready to go out now. And then Yoda and Samba have been in since about December. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it'll be really good. Samba still looks very young. Yeah. The only white faced baby. He's getting there though. In our Richard pages. He's the one crying at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. They all have their purple dye, so. Yeah. But, you know, it's going to be exciting. Becky. You excited? Very. <laughs> All right. It is a very exciting day today because the Coco boys are going to get released into troop. So here we have Samba with Mum Kara. 
and we also have Yoda and Carla in here as well so we are all very very excited for the release today um, and then we also have Atlas and Ricardo in this intra cage who are also going to get released so I think we're going to release Atlas and Ricardo first and then get Yoda and Samba but we are all very very excited um, Atlas and Ricardo are our first babies of the season and Samba and Yoda are our 13th and 14th babies. You really had to be uh, wide awake to watch this uh, introduction. It happened so quickly and so fast. Uh, of course, the foster moms know exactly what they were doing. But here's yeah. uh, Ricardo and Panicure at the door. You can hardly see her there, but she's getting ready. And then out she sort of comes, um, has a look around, and then sort of makes uh, her way into the into the bushes and things like that uh, with little Ricardo. So, um, yeah, at least we got them out. There's another three to go. And uh, they all seem to go in succession of each other. So as the one was out, it sort of inspired the others. And... Uh, now we're just waiting for the next one to come through. So of course people have gone off to watch Panicure to see everything's fine there. And uh, then uh, I think Carla's, Carla's uh, coming close down to the door. Everyone's watching Carla. And uh, I think she's going to... Oh, yes, there she's out and she's come out with Samba. Um, and then I think that's Jolly coming up there from the back just to check uh, everything's okay and uh, to make sure uh, the little one's, one's fine. So uh, that's two of them out, another two to go. So as I said, they're all coming out in succession uh, of each other and, and very fast. I think Mark's moving over to the second intro cage now so we can start uh, letting them out from that side. And look, there we go. It doesn't take too long. Here we have Yelena. She's just come out with, uh, with little Atlas and... Uh, She's also joined there by Taro coming to have a look and seeing uh, how things are going on. And of course she's moving into the safety of uh, the bushes um, where she feels a lot more comfortable. So of course we've got people running around following all of these three. We've just got one little one to go. And of course she sneaked out so quickly there was no time really to get a, a good vi video. That's little Yoda out and on her way. Uh, to join the others and meet the other foster moms on the outside. Atlas. Always nice to spot the little ones up and running around in the trees. And of course, uh, they are of that age that they'll move away from their moms a little bit more. So they really do want to explore. Um, but moms don't let them go too far away from them. They are very careful. Um, but as I said, the little ones do want to explore around. And it's just so nice to sit here and watch little Atlas climbing around in the trees, discovering everything that's, that's around. Met up with one of his little buddies there. Just want to see who's the one with the blue mark on their back. It's a good chance that little one was... Uh, was Yoda and of course yeah, we have Panicure back uh, with little Atlas just uh, checking up on him and making sure he's not going where he shouldn't be going not that I think the moms have got any chance in the matter it sort of becomes them chasing after the little ones and making sure they they're okay in the beginning because um, as I say these ones have reached that little age that they do want to explore a little bit but mom as you can see she's not too far behind Atlas Casanova Panacure. It's Casanova Grooming Atlas. And with that white moustache, it's very, very easy to see Casanova. Long arms. To, uh, Atlas went to Panacure. Long arms following him. 
So long arms, if you look carefully, it's also got a whitish moustache, but it's more prominent on the sides of the mouth, where Casanova, you can see it's uh, fairly broad. So there's two monkeys you should be able to identify. Casanova has uh, also got um, a scar, basically just over her left eyebrow, so also easy um, to pick that up and see what's going on. So there's two monkeys you should be able to identify in the future. So this is Ricardo, Atlas, Turkles and Panacure. So Atlas is on Panacure Valley and Ricardo just next to them. Some of our uh, avid viewers probably still remember Dirkulis came in in 2020 and was also fostered uh, by Panacure. Here are Atlas and Ricardo. They are with Panacure. Let's see if they drink some milk. They still didn't drink today. There goes Ricardo. The golden baby. And Atlas. Still here with Panacur. Ricardo also has a slightly golden coat, so a little bit easier to identify from a distance. Other sub is waiting for Ricardo. It's always nice to see how the moms are patient for the little ones to drink in the feeding cage after them they're used to them going in and coming out. In the initial stages it doesn't work as easy as that, but yeah, you can see they are patient, waiting for little Ricardo to come back out. We have Panacure with Ricardo and Atlas. Ricardo is on the belly and Atlas was on the back. Now you can see how golden little Ricardo actually is. And just behind we have Carla and Samber. And Jacob on the right. So Jacob uh, was born in 2010. You can see he's got a very, very dark face uh, with a kind of flat nose and his muzzle sort of protrudes. But I don't know if you'll be able to notice all of that. <laughs> Well, Carla was born in uh, 2019, arrived at the sanctuary in 2020 as an orphan, fostered by Luca. So um, she is sort of an up-and-coming female. She's climbing very well in ranks at the moment, which is a good sign. She's also reached that age where she wants her own kind of offspring. Uh, so I think uh, Samba has been a good thing for her. And uh, she seems like she really likes him. The two are hanging out most of the time, and I don't think she's actually let him up. Uh, to anyone else, not quite like um, like Yoda. Some of you may recognize Yulise. She arrived in 2020. Uh, her mother was shot and she fell from a tree and suffered minor um, head wounds. She was also uh, fostered by Luca. Yoda and Samber are approaching the feeding cage. There goes Samber and Yoda.
we need to keep a distance always from the feeding cage because if we stay too close the moms won't be happy and won't let them go inside and it's very important that this in the first days of the release um, for the babies to, to drink of course and get used to the new feeding cages they are doing great um, this is the third day out and all of them have already drunk from the feeding cages yesterday this is their first drink in the morning it's close to eight o'clock so you can pretty much see the similarities between uh, um, Yoda and Samba and Atlas and Ricarda uh, so uh, Yoda and Samba same thing with their foster moms standing outside or waiting patiently outside the cage always keeping an eye on them uh, just to make sure they're safe um, and as what you mentioned we can't go too close because this can disrupt the whole thing and cause uh, the, the foster moms to try and pull the babies out um, to get them away from the cage which can be a problem Yoda and Samba are drinking from the feeding cage and Yoli is outside waiting for them she tried to grab yeah, there she is trying to grab their tails because she wants them back Yoli is the newly established alpha female and I think she's taken over Yoda from Kara and this is what you're talking about you can see her trying to grab the little one's tail to pull him outside of the feeding cage fortunately <laughs> she just can't reach but sometimes if they get scared that's what they do and they stop the little ones going into the cage drinking so we've got to make sure we don't interfere with this whole process this is Samba he just discovered the feeding cage tree and has huge drink. We have Kara just waiting next to him and over there we have Yoda and Kara. So it's really good the mom is waiting next to the fin cage so she has all the time Yoda has all the time for drinking. Oh Sambo So actually on the back it was Luca with Yoda and Kara is just come back. where Samba, Yoda, Atlas and Ricardo have been released a couple of days ago. With Kara. Yoda is playing on the tree by himself. It's just really amazing to see uh, Samba and Yoda having so much fun. Um, you know, their lives have changed completely. Just look at these little ones running around, climbing into the trees, eating grasses, got some fantastic moms again. And living a life that a little monkey should be 
playing there with your lees. Um, this is this is so nice to do. Sometimes just to be at the foundation and basically watch the integration process, watch what these little ones do, how they interact with each other, how they interact with other foster monkeys that uh, have come in here previously, and everybody's just getting on so, so well. Um, it is really amazing, and it's really amazing what these foster moms uh, are able to do. Um, it's not an easy program, and it does something one has to be careful. You can't just throw a little baby monkey out to any monkeys. They will kill it, so it does have to take professionals working on it all the time. Ricardo, Panacure, and Irene. Irene was an orphan from 2012 and integrated in the troop. Sometimes very difficult to see who the monkeys are. That's actually Samba with long arms, um, not Panacure. Remember the thin little white moustache. And some of you may remember Oswald and CT, the 2021 orphans, basically come over um, to join everybody and see how uh, Samba is getting on. Uh, it was long arms uh, and not Panacure because Panacure just come. So there we go, Samba ran out and joined uh, Panacure, who came back into the picture. Panacure, Ricardo, and Atlas. Well, the foundation is really looking amazing at the moment with all this green grass and beautiful trees. I think it's a fantastic time for these little orphans uh, to be integrated with their moms. They've got some nice foliage and places to climb in and play in. It's like a whole jungle for these little ones and really fantastic to see them enjoying it. So Ricardo is on the belly and Atlas on the back. We have Panacure with Ricardo, it's the more golden one, and Atlas. And we also have Auntie uh, Jacob and Auntie... Can't see the face. Moki was an orphan from 2015, mm -hmm. found in a game reserve uh, with a dead mother nearby. So Ricardo is having his best life being grown by Auntie Longhar. Panacur is just next to them. So little Ricardo really having a great time. Um, long arms basically going and grooming him and, and playing a little bit with him while Mom Panacure sits nearby just looking for seeds and things like this in the bush so she's taking like a little bit of a break but just to look at our little Ricardo so relaxed there as he gets a once over uh, from long arms We have Samba with his mom Kara. Oswald, a uh, little orphan from 2021, little male. Um, he was also found alone, so we don't really know what happened to his to his mom. But anyway, you can just see how well little Oswald's doing as well. Mm -hmm. So. Now it's Moki again him. We have Yoda and Lucas. Uh, Lucas decides to be a foster mom outside. Luca may have mentioned before, 2012 uh, orphan. Um, she really does make a fantastic foster mom, but also one of those that doesn't like being stuck in a cage too long.
The little one has a little bit another color. Huh? It's more brown and the uh, mum is more gray. Yes. Sweet. So we have Cappy over there. It's a male. Here we have Peggy. Cappy is the current uh, alpha male and I don't know if you can notice the little moustache, uh, thin moustache on the bottom of his mouth. Peggy is a 2017 orphan. We have Yonda, Samper and... I don't know. <laughs> Cara, that just moved away. <coughs> Protecting her baby. Yoda and Luca. And Moki. And Taro. So a week after release, I've just given the milks out here at Coco, and three of the babies straight over. We've got uh, Atlas, Ricardo, and Yoda. Got Jacob on top of the feeding cage. Oswald to the left. All being very protective of the babies. We've got other and other sub, Irene, and over on the right is Long Arms, and just to the left, just to the right of the feeding cage is Kara. So I can't get any closer or I get swiftly told off. So I'll hand out the rest of the milks and it's just Samber to check on today as he hasn't turned up yet but it's a very large enclosure with two other feeding cages so no doubt he'll turn up at one of the other ones. Well really and truly wasn't that amazing just seeing these little ones getting out there going out with their mums enjoying themselves we jumped ahead a little bit uh, last week uh, with the Goliath integration but uh, of course we're back on par again these were the first little ones to go out and I must admit this is probably the most favorite time uh, of my year it really and truly makes me so happy just to see all the hard work that our volunteers our long-term staff have all put in and the rewards of seeing what they've done with these little ones um, getting out with the moms um, big little monkeys all over again it's just and it, you know there's just not enough words for it it's just a big thank you to everybody involved everybody out there that's playing their part helping make the difference in these little ones lives everybody out there donating watching uh, following us on social media promoting our social media pages becoming members um, 
joining our, our ver various social media um, structures and things like Patreon and stuff like this. All these little contributions make it possible uh, for us to do this amazing work. But of course, we couldn't do it without our ground team. And we got some fantastic volunteers, although though we don't have as many as we do need. Uh, we have got a fantastic team putting everything in there. And they're the ones that really need a big thank you, as well as Josie keeping her finger on top of everything and making sure this uh, little uh, respiratory disease doesn't spread too far through the foundation. But thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it.